Governor Rauner, Chancellor Marshall, members of the uh, Lincoln Academy, other dignitaries uh, who are here today, friends and family. I feel very fortunate to have this opportunity to speak with you about this great honor. The man in whose name we gather tonight was not only a great president and not only a great lawyer, but he was a man of great principle, vision, courage, and compassion. I tried during the course of my career as a judge to carry on that type of a tradition. I have to say that uh, uh, I appreciate the uh, opportunity also to congratulate the other honorees tonight. I am honored to be in your presence and in the presence of such an august group. Your contributions have affected not only the city of Chicago, the state of Illinois, our nation, but our world, and you've made it a better place. I want to thank my family and my friends, some of whom are here tonight. I won't name them all, but I will mention one person, and that is my wife, Paula Holderman, who is uh, not only a recognized, accomplished attorney, but she is the person who is the wind behind my sails. I thank you for all the love and support, and I thank you for just putting up with me. <laughs> when I was a young man, growing up on the farm outside of Morris, Illinois, I dreamed of being a football player at the University of Illinois. And I was recruited to do that. In the last game of my high school career, I was kicked in the head and had brain damage. So what did I do? I became a federal judge. <laughs> And I have to say, the opportunities to give back, the opportunities to provide justice, the opportunities to carry on the traditions of Abraham Lincoln are the most inspiring things I've had the opportunity to do. This award tonight is the capstone of my career. Thank you very much.